It worked as planned. That's what the USGS is saying about the shake alert system during yesterday's 5.1 quake. It was the second time in as many months that the system was tested by a real earthquake. But some people are saying they didn't get an alert at all. NBC Bears Ian Cole tells us why and what you need to know for the next time. A few seconds before the shaking started, about 95,000 people across the Bay Area got an alert from the MyShake app. It was developed by the UC Berkeley Seismology Lab using the Shake Alert infrastructure. We're trying to focus on areas that could experience damage. But many others with the same app told us they didn't get an alert, so we asked why. The answer likely has to do with your phone settings. So people need to have um, location services turned always on, not just while using the app, always on, and or set a home base location. Android or iOS has not paused notifications to the app or offloaded the app. Phones using a VPN also won't get the alert, but the demand is clear. The MyShake app had more than 100,000 new downloads since the quake, and MyShake isn't the only option. There's also a San Diego County app that works across the state and Quake Alert USA. Google will also send shake alerts, but only to phones using Android. Move quickly through the ground. This shake alert video helps explain how the system works. The earthquake's P waves are first detected by sensors placed around the state before the more damaging S waves. If multiple sensors detect an earthquake of 4.5 or greater, it'll alert users based on their settings. Yesterday, the USGS says it worked. We saw a lot of really effective alerts go out to people throughout the San Jose region. Another reason you may not get the alert is how close you are to the earthquake. If you're on top of the fault, it'll be too late like it was for many in East San Jose yesterday. Others may be too far away. So Napa County, uh, Sonoma County, um, they would not have been alerted. It's people who are within the intense, intensity three region or larger. And intensity three is a shaking level that is sort of akin to a truck passing by your house. The teams of scientists developing the shake alert continue to compile data from every quake to see if there are other precursors to speed up the warning time. Still, experts say it's good to prepare and check to make sure your app is ready before the next one hits. Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News.